All right, so here with Melanie of Glazecraft Windows, and we're gonna go over just a real quick topic on weather stripping. I always get a lot of questions about how do you weather strip an old window, and we're not saying maybe this is our favorite method, but this is a historic method, and we just wanted to point this out. So why don't you tell us about what we've got going on here? So we're only seeing part of the system on the sash itself, but this here is called a zinc, and this is part of a zinc weather stripping system. It's interlocking. And so you'll have one piece on the upper sash like this. We can show how it interlocks here. And then you have the locking piece on the lower sash. Okay. And if you can look down here, you can see how there's uh -huh. a channel. All right. And so at the meeting rail, which is the top of the bottom sash and the bottom of the top uh -huh. sash, uh, they slide into each other oh. and the windows close. Very cool. Like that. Now the rest of the system is actually in, in the, the frame, right? Itself. Yeah. yeah. So there is weather stripping that is actually nailed into the sides of the jams that slides into a channel on the side of the sash. Oh, is that, and that's what this um, little channel is for. Yeah. Okay. See, I've been doing a lot of windows, but I didn't even realize what this channel was for. And there you go. That's what that's for. That's for the weather stripping. So this was just an old system used on some windows and... Well, it's still used, actually. This is still something that a lot of window restorers love using. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's impossible to get out. You bend it. It's really challenging uh -huh. to get back in. And it also gums up the sash, in my opinion. Ah, okay. So these were often retrofitted. I see. So that was something that came later. So they pulled out the sash and then they cut that channel into these that. dados here. Yeah, they cut the channel into it. And what I find, and here's a really good example, you see this bit here? Mm -hmm. That used to continue the channel, but because it was such a thin piece of wood that over time that wood cracked, broke yeah, off. I see. And I see a lot of failure at these points. I see. So here too as well. You're getting, you're getting some failure. I see. And so I prefer to keep the wood in one piece and not putting these slices into it. There's other methods you can weather strip using bronze weather stripping, you yeah. use silicone bulb on your parting beads. There's lots of other methods, but this one, people love it because it really is quite energy efficient. It does keep a lot of air out. I see. Well, we can talk about the other methods maybe in another video, but just wanted to show mm -hmm. this. Okay, thanks.